to. But we're giving out gifts to every every shut-in, and they really appreciate it. That we it's it's not our holiday, and we tell them it's not our holiday. But we're Jewish, and we do this to celebrate their Christmas. And we do this every. And in front of each sign, there's a bag. Uh, this program has been going on since 1946. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor. We go and we give gifts to every shut-in in the here, and we also go to Sepulveda. We go to the VA, uh, the uh, veteran home across the way. What kind of reaction do you get from the uh, patients? The patients are very, very appreciative. They're very, very surprised. Some of them never were, were in the building here for, for months and months and months. And we want to make sure that they know that the gift is from the Jewish war veterans and the program started with Eddie Cantor in 1946. Eddie Cantor, the famous movie actor and singer? Absolutely. He started the program in 1946, and we've done it every year since. And we, it's an honor for us to do that. And I'm 95 years old, and I've been doing it every year. In which wars did you serve? I served in World War II and Korea. You're in the Pacific? In the Pacific Theater, yes. Which, which war are you going to? I'm going to 2 and 5, and we're going to be on the third floor, and we're doing some bedside visits. These two girls are students at Milken Community High School, and we make some of those bags that get delivered. Oh, who puts we, the bags together? Um, students yeah. at Milken, and sometimes we do them with um, some of our friends in communities like Village of Tarzana, oh. Belmont, um, Village. Uh -huh. That's nice. Is this your first time coming? No, I've been coming for about six years. Why do you keep coming back? Because I love the Jewish veterans um, group. Do you have a relative who is a Jewish war veteran? Yes, of course. And I've overseen a, a Boy Scout getting his Eagle Project doing this. It's just a great organization. How many of them did you dis di are you distributing? 1,100. 1,100, yeah? 1,100. Between every place, meaning? On the VA campus. You mean Long, uh, Long Beach and San Diego? No. 1,100 here, between the State Veterans Home, New Directions, the domiciliary, the two nursing homes, and the hospital, comes to 1,100 bags. Which is crazy, because when I first started, it was 600 bags. Yeah, well, that was just like the hospital. Right. Well, no, no, no. It was, hospital be, plus. It was before the. For the home state veterans' home, was, right? Was filled. That's 350. They're full now. Yeah. They got 350 bags. Wow. Right. So oh. just stick them over here in the wall. Okay. This is empty. Okay. What's in the bags? Okay, let me show you what's in the bags. These are empty. So bags. we have a cap and a scarf. Yeah. A pair of socks. Toothpaste kit. Toothpaste. Oh, toothpaste, a toothbrush, toothbrush, yeah. Toothbrush. Personal hygiene shaving kit. Oh, that's nice. And a Merry Christmas bag. Merry Christmas season's greetings from the Jewish War Veterans. Oh, that's great. That's great. Uh, where did the uh, merchandise uh, get donated or get procured from? Uh, new I mean, Operation Gratitude gave us the, the uh, toothpaste, toothbrush, and the personal care items. Uh huh. And the American Legion donated the money for the Jewish war veterans to purchase the bags uh -huh. and these three items. Oh, that's nice. So everybody's involved. Right, everybody's involved. Our group uh, puts together, what did we do, about 1,100 bags this 11, year. 11, 1,200 bags. Yeah. Our, our group got Stuff together. the bags? Yes. Well, we get, we get volunteers from junior ROTC programs and We helped few to others. organize it. Yeah. Uh, a week ago, today, Tuesday, yes, we uh, got together, about 20 people all together. We had a dozen wonderful young cadets from Verdugo Hills High School's JROTC program and their first sergeant. And every year they come and help us out. He'll have a dozen different kids come every year. And uh, we support them, we help them financially. And uh, that's a mitzvah for us. And they turn it back around and they come and help us pack 1,200 bags uh, in about three, four hours. And uh, we put them all together so they can go out on Christmas morning like they did today. We, we, we bring up, we 
bring or send gifts in, and uh, they're all distributed e equally, and we de uh, deliver them to, uh, to the patients' rooms and make sure that they're uh, kept happy, and they are happy. They love to see us every year, and we enjoy to see them every year. What moves you to get up on a Christmas morning and, and come down to the VA hospital where lots of people who are veterans don't come? Because the, these people gave up uh, so much for our freedom, to fight for our freedom. So, yeah, it's the least I can do. What kind of reaction do you get when you go up to the rooms? Um, uh, it's pretty intense. Um, I've been here before. Um, I served in Vietnam in 71, 72 and I'm a member of the Pacific Palisades Post 283. So you've been here as a patient? Oh yeah. yeah. They saved my life six years ago. And six years ago to this day, I was upstairs on the fifth floor and Matt came in and gave me a box, wow. okay, full of this wonderful stuff, um, uh, toilet articles and, and, and uh, puzzles and and then Santa Claus walked through the door, yeah. okay, and uh, it was, it was, I'll never forget it. And so I was at, a, at an event at the American Legion a, a couple of weeks ago, and Matt came up and asked me if I would come this morning, and it was just an absolute pleasure, pleasure to come. You're an Army veteran? I'm an Army veteran, the 70s to 73, uh -huh. and I served in combat in Vietnam in 71, 72. Oh boy, yeah. yeah, my father's a Vietnam and Korean veteran, um, and uh, and I get a member of the American Legion. And uh, I'm not Jewish, but I have a lot of Jewish friends, and and uh, been involved and been involved and have known Matt for you know the last six years, ever since he walked in the door upstairs, and I'm lying there with IVs in my arm, the tears coming down my cheek, because it was such an emotional moment for me. Um, you have to be here on Christmas alone? Oh, I was here by myself. I have some friends, of course, you know, that came to visit me, but not on that day. You know, they were home with their kids. And I was here for three months. I was, I was, I was in, in for three months. And like in the 70s and 80s, um, it was a lot different than it is now. And uh, I would only come here at night if I had an emergency. And um, uh, um, but now, when I, from the moment I walked, they brought me in here in the emergency room because I was hemorrhaging. Uh, um, thank you for your service. And um, it was incredible. It was incredible. <laughs> yeah, wonderful. And I'm just so happy to be here today, and and you know, be with the guys today. How about you? What brings you down here? Guys like this. Yeah. No, I mean, that's exactly it. Um, I'm a regular VA volunteer, and in December 2008, they contacted me and said, the Jewish war veterans do this on Christmas Day. Can you go pick up the food and deliver it to them? And after that, I thought there was no better way to spend my Christmas morning than helping them out. So this is my 11th year showing up, helping out. Cool. <laughs> yep. Didn't you make a contribution to the breakfast? I did, but Matt Millen, the JWV commander, he just makes me look good. So he actually does all the shopping. So he's really the domestic one. I'm just the breadwinner. You, I'm sure the food draws a lot of the people. Oh, no, it totally does. Yeah. <laughs> Are you pleased with the uh, experience this morning? This event has attracted so many volunteers since when I first started. When I first started, they had to serve lunch because it, there was fewer people, and it took all day to deliver the gifts. So they deliver gifts in the morning, go eat lunch, head out again in the afternoon. And now so many people have stepped up. Uh, like the um, Operation Gratitude people, the Boy Scouts, that it's done before lunch. So one year we, we realized, okay, lunch is no longer working, so now it's a continental breakfast. And I have to give my boss a plug, because when it was a lunch and three times more expensive, he 
wrote the check. And it's now down to a point where actually I can afford to do it. So, yeah. So. Happy holidays! Ready? Yeah. Come on, I'll give my hand to